Hey there, here's Jan from Dovo, and today we're going to talk about API calls for your Alexa skills and Google Actions. For voice apps, it's typically pretty essential to do some sort of um, external API calls to get some data from uh, any other web service that you can then use and respond back to your users. And uh, we are going to build a pretty simple Alexa skill in Google Action that returns a random quote. And so if you go to this tutorial, I found uh, a pretty simple and kind of nerdy um, Star Wars quote API um, that just returns a random Star Wars quote. And we're just going to make a GET request to, um, to this um, API and we're going to use a module called request promise and I'm going to walk you through this step by step. So let's create a new Jovo project first. And so to create a new Jovo project, if you have the Jovo CLI installed, just type in Jovo new and then we're going to call it random star wars quote and this creates the hello world project um, and um, installs the npm dependencies into the folder random star wars quote after the npm dependencies are installed let's go into this folder with a cd and then random star wars quote and we can open it up in our code editor so i'm going to use visual studio code for this and so um, if you have watched previous episodes of these tutorials, uh, you know that um, this is the sample voice app project by Jovo. So we have a launch intent and a hello world intent that asks the user for their name. And we can actually get rid of some of this stuff here. So we're just gonna have for this, we're just gonna, we, we keep the launch intent like this, and, but we're not gonna redirect it to the hello world intent. We're just gonna use a, quote intent and that's it and the goal is to return a quote and so um, we are just going to use a tell method we're going to end this and just say this is a quote and um, for this we can do some adjustments to the to the language model so here if you go to the models folder in the enus json file you can see that there's a Jovo language model, which is later translated into an Alexa interaction model and a Google action or a dialogue flow agent language model. And we're going to use the invocation name Star Wars quote. And we can call this quote intent. Give me a quote. Ask Star Wars quote for a quote or quote. That's it. And we can get rid of the other intent as well. And that's it for now. And so if we want to um, test it out now, we can do Jovo run. And open it in the Jovo, in the Jovo debugger and test it out, just the, the flow. And so if we launch, for example, it says this is a quote and that's it. And so this is how um, it looks like very, very simple from the flow. But now we would like, as shown here in the tutorial, um, we would like to have a function that says get random quote and that we can call. And so, and, and we do a, an API call here. We, we're gonna do this. We're gonna use a quote and return quote here and then so this is the first step how we um, how this is gonna look like and so um, nothing special right now so it should still work if we restart the server here quote okay so this is how it should look like and so and now the next step is to um, call this api and um, usually people use the, the request module for this because it makes it very easy. And uh, we can try this out. The, the thing is that um, now that, the thing is that Jovo 
uh, changed a few things about how requests and uh, responses are executed. So Jovo builds on top of the, the modern JavaScript concept promises and async await. Um, this makes your code look cleaner um, and it's, it's, it looks way, way better and is um, way easier to follow than using callbacks, for example. Um, if you have several callbacks in, inside each other, that can get fr fr quite frustrating and difficult to debug. And so um, this is why um, we usually use async await. And so um, you need to add async, for example, to this, uh, to that function, to that intent function, and then use await here. Um, the problem here is that for this, we, we can't use the request module as it is right now because the request module doesn't return a promise. And so uh, we either need to promiseify the, the response from the request, which um, is shown in our text tutorial um, here. There's, uh, there's two options, um, use um, a module called request promise or use the traditional request package and then promiseify it. So if you wanna use this or if you wanna migrate um, previous um, apps um, to promises, you can take a look there and we also show you a few, uh, as next steps, a few tutorials on how you can migrate from callbacks to async await functions, for example. But for now, we're gonna use uh, another um, cool new module by request which makes it as easy as possible. So for example, if you go here to promises and async await, there are packages called request promise and a package called request promise native, um, which uses the native promises, um, which doesn't matter for you right now. And so uh, I'm gonna use the request native promise. And so to install it, we need to install both request and request promise native. And so we can do this right now. And so do an npm install for request. And then do an npm install for request promise native. Okay, if we now wanna use um, request promise native, we need to add it to our um, app.js file in the app instant initialization part. So we can add it here, for example, and then we, uh, we can use that to call, uh, to call this API. And so um, we can just do that. So we can take a look at the Swagger UI here. So this is how this API call looks like. Um, you can also find it in, in the tutorial here. And so we can just use those options here. Let's just copy that for now. Um, so this is the API URI that we're going to call and then um, we're setting JSON true um, to make sure we can easily use that. And so let's do this here. So we can do that and let's, let's lock this for now. Let's lock what it's, what is returned. So let's restart the server again. Huh. As you can see, I forgot one thing. So um, I need to add async here as well. We, we can only use await in async functions. And so I, I added it here. Let's try it again. And it worked. And so let's open the debugger again and try it out. Okay, and if we now go into the terminal, you can see this is the response from this API. So this is the quote. And so we need to access the Star Wars quote thing here. We can return, let's call this data instead. And then return data dot Star Wars quote. And then it should work. So let's try it out. Okay, that's it. And so we just did um, an async await uh, API call to a simple API that returns a random Star Wars quote. Let's see if it's really random. Okay, there's another one by, by Han Zolo. And so this is how you can, you can do those API calls. And there's a few things to consider as well. The previous Jovo templates came with just this dot to intent. Um, and there's, uh, there's a problem there. So if you are using async await, you need to either do async launch 
and then await the start to intent or add a return to this because otherwise it wouldn't wait. And so for example, if, if I do this and open it again and do launch, it wouldn't work. So um, what happens there is this is the request and this is the response. And so the response gets sent out um, before um, the request is, is done. And so we, if, we, um, if we log that again and do Java run again, you see the, the API is retrieved before the response is sent out. And so this is the, the main difference um, how, um, how stuff is handled in Jovo version two uh, based on promises and async await that the, when the handler promise is resolved and there's nothing happening in the handlers, it doesn't throw an error, uh, for example, it just sends back an empty response telling the session to end. Uh, which is helpful, but also um, this is why it's important to make sure that every um, intent redirect like the start to intent has a return um, that you can make sure that um, that you are returning promises there. Um, but that's it. This is how you can build a simple Alexa skill and Google action that returns a, a random quote by calling an external API.